When you're struggling with a difficult challenge, oftentimes hearing another person's story of overcoming adversity can be the inspiration you need to get on the right path. Daniel Trust is a Rwandan genocide survivor and youth motivational speaker who started his own foundation to help children around the world. Daniel, welcome to Connecticut Thank Style. You. It's nice to have you here. Um, you have an incredible story. Why don't we talk a little bit about the, your life before you came to America? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, my life has been a blessing. And uh, I was born and raised in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. And in 1995, I lost my parents and uh, two sisters. Mm -hmm. I actually saw, witnessed my mom die. And then uh, in uh, 2001, I had the opportunity to uh, leave Rwanda and go to Zambia as a refugee. Mm -hmm. And um, in 2005, I came to the States, and here I am. So you had the opportunity to go to college uh, in the States. And tell us, uh, you ended up at Southern. Yes. And yes. what was your experience like there? Oh, my experience at Southern was fantastic. Yeah. So I, when I came in 2005, I went to Basic High School in Bridgeport, mm -hmm. and then I graduated in 08, and then I got accepted at Southern, got where it. I managed, I, I, I majored in uh, business uh, management. I recently graduated this past May, but Southern was fantastic. The school has been, thank you. The school has been very supportive, and I'm so glad I'm, I graduated from there. Um, yeah. Do you have family here? Yes, yes, yes. I have two sisters. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of them lives in California, and the other one lives in Bridgeport. All right. Um, yeah. So you really you had a lot to overcome once you did come to the United States. And you yeah. said uh, one of the biggest moments was coming out in the gay community. Yes. Why yes. was that so significant? Yes, that was very significant for me because you know I come from a country where homophobia is so high. There's not there's little tolerance for gay people, mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, when I made the decision to come out, uh, it was very difficult because my family was not very acceptable. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they didn't really accept the whole uh, uh, thing. Sure. Yeah, and uh, so it was very difficult, but with the support of, you know, close friends and uh, people in the community, I was able to. Sure. Kind and that's of, actually part of your motivational yeah. talk sometimes. Yes. You discuss. Um, how to be more accepting. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so I do a lot of motivational speaking. I go mm -hmm. to different schools in Connecticut and around the country where I kind of share uh, my story with students mm -hmm. and uh, encourage them to be themselves. Sure. And uh, uh, pretty much stand up for what they believe in. And uh, uh, it, it's something that I've always wanted to do. Sure. You know, it's like I want to showcase that. You live got, through it, yes, right? Yes, and yes, yes, if yes. you did it, they could yeah, probably do yeah, it. So absolutely. let's talk about the inspiration behind the, the Daniel Trust Foundation. Yes, yes. So I started the Daniel Trust Foundation back when I was a freshman at Southern. Mm -hmm. And the idea behind it was to uh, help other orphans like myself who've been through a lot of things mm -hmm. and throughout my whole entire you know life I've always been helped by somebody whether it's somebody that I met at a church or mm -hmm. a community center somebody has always been there so I kind of wanted to give back by being there for orphans uh, by being there for LGBT youth who mm -hmm. may need to hear from somebody who's experienced uh, some of the things that may be going through so the foundation pretty much promotes uh, uh, Acceptance, acceptance, right? Yes. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, what would you say was the most memorable experience? Because you've been out in yes, the community yes, helping. Yes, yes, yes. I would say traveling to Haiti. Oh, I really? Went, yes. I went to Haiti in 2011, 2012. Mm -hmm. I went to volunteer with a nonprofit called uh, uh, Child Hope International. And uh, I stayed, each time I stayed there for a week. And it was just good to see they have, to, they have a, a school where they bring kids from the community, they provide mm -hmm. free education for them. So that was wow. a really good experience for me yeah, to kind of witness. Yeah. Um, now, Daniel, I understand you have an upcoming fundraiser, October 10th. Yes. Please give us the details. Yes, so I have my first uh, annual uh, fundraiser coming up. Uh, it's October 10th. It's going to be at IU Thai, Lawyer Thai Cuisine in Guilford. And uh, uh, it's uh, uh, going to be amazing. We have <laughs> a DJ. Uh, we have a photographer. The whole idea of the event is to kind of make people feel special by themselves are going to have a red carpet. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Sounds like a party. Yes, yes. Uh, they come, they pose for pictures, and then the best uh, dressed people will be featured oh, on DT. a little DT. competition yes, here. Yes, I like yes, this. Yes. All right, where do we find information? Do you have a website? Yes, I have a website. All the information can be found on danieltrustfoundation.org uh, or danieltrust.com. Uh, All right, sounds good. Yeah. We'll also put the link on our website, wtnh.com. Thank you so much for coming Thank here you so and sharing much. your Thank story. You. Thank you for having me. All right, coming up next, we'll give you a preview to what's cooking at the Biggie when style returns. We'll be right back.